Thank you, Chair. Um, what's become very clear here today is that, and for those millions of wreck fishermen across this country and those people who care about the ocean, is that we are back to ground zero on super trawlers. Absolutely nothing has changed. The coalition is happy for super trawlers to come back to uh, Australian waters, and the Labor Party, who have introduced this bill, a bill which doesn't stop super trawlers, doesn't ban super trawlers, has been introduced by the previous minister who presided over the arrival of the super trawler and all the farce that led to the moratorium, which, by the way, uh, Senator McKenzie, all the research work that you've quoted that's been done only came about because of the Greens and the conservation movement and the wreck fishing special interests that you call them in this country. But we have a long way to go. The Borthwick Review, the Borthwick Review came about because of this farce around the Super Trawler, and it has not proceeded. This sunset clause was supposed to be in place until the work could be done. Now, you have the hypocrisy, Senator McKenzie, to stand here and lecture me and the Greens about science. You have the hypocrisy to lecture us about not listening to the science. Well, let's talk about the dredging in the Great Barrier Reef. Let's talk about your party full of climate deniers. 99 per cent of scientists around the world, 99 per cent of the scientists around the world Order. tell us that we need to take action on global warming, yet Senator McKenzie's party full of climate deniers has the audacity the audacity, the nerve to lecture the Greens Order. about not listening to science. We are the only party that wants to protect the environment Order. in this country. We are the only party that wants to protect the environment. Now, this bill, this bill o gives Order. the environment minister. If it, if it is passed, it gives the environment minister discretion as to whether they will allow super trawlers to come into this country. This is an environment minister who has allowed dredging in the Great Barrier Reef, who has backflipped and broken promises on the renewable energy target, on a price on carbon and on his number one darling issue, whaling in the Southern Ocean. Every year, Minister Hunt, the same person who will have discretion if this bill gets up, every year he berated and grandstanded against Peter Garrett around his lack of action on whaling. But what happened when he became environment minister? What happened? He rolled over and had his tummy tickled by the rest of his party room. He did nothing to prevent whaling in the Southern Ocean this summer. So what's to say he's going to prevent the arrival of a super trawler and take action? Which, by the way, if he doesn't, would be just one of many broken promises from the coalition. I've got the quote here from the Prime Minister saying super trawlers would be banned, but what Senator McKenzie outlined here today sounded nothing like the coalition were prepared to ban super trawlers in these waters. Now, let's get back to the Labor Party. I sat in this chamber and I debated that more work needed to be done on the science around the small pelagic fishery and the very fishy business of the arrival of this boat, the Margiris, which later changed its name to Abel Tasman. The very fishy business. And it was through campaigning in Tasmania and around the country. And it's, there's absolutely no doubt that the wreck fishing community in this country and the Greens aren't common bedfellows. But we were on this campaign because the number one issue that we both felt needed to be addressed was the issue of local depletion. The fact that a super trawler can sit out to sea for long periods of time, follow large scores of small pelagic fishery and deplete areas of fish. Now, as far as I know from asking questions at recent estimates, there still hasn't been a definition yet of what constitutes local depletion. So the Greens have been very clear in our policy on super trawlers. We do want to see them banned. We propose an amendment going back two years ago that would have banned super trawlers with the onus of proof being on the proponents of new super trawlers to prove that they would not damage, to not damage the ocean. We want to see a ban on these boats put in place, as do millions of Australians, Senator Brandis through you, Chair, as do millions of Australians. This issue touched a nerve like no other environmental issue in recent history in this country. And today it's become very clear through Senator McKenzie that the coalition are prepared to let super trawlers come back into, the, uh, into Australian waters. Now, this bill 
gives discretion, if it's passed, back to the Environment Minister. It doesn't ban super patrollers, nor does it stop them. And we need to be very clear about that. And the reason I raise this issue is because I've seen a number of emails and media releases, even pamphlets mailed in my home state of Tasmania, saying that Labor is banning super patrollers. Well, let's be very clear about that. It's not. In fact, based on what uh, Senator Ludwig said uh, earlier, uh, it's doing almost exactly what it did two years ago when the Super Trawler arrived, uh, saying, uh, we'll leave it to the experts, we'll leave it to AFMA, we'll leave it to the science. The problem was, the problem was that scientific work wasn't done. Even the resource assessment group, the RAG, uh, at AFMA agreed that, that not enough scientific work had, be, had, had been done. It wasn't about the quality of science that had been done. It was the fact that this fishery, which is highly sensitive to ecosystems, this fishery had not been studied for 12 years. Now that work is being done thanks to the Greens, thanks to Rec Fishers and thanks to the conservation movement. And we pushed and pushed and pushed to get that work done. And now we have the two old parties in this chamber claiming that they have got this work done and that somehow this is a victory. Well, it's not. The work hasn't been finished. There is still considerable uncertainty in the science to this point, and there is still a very real chance that these large fishing vessels, which have depleted oceans all around the world, all around the world, no one disputes that, are going to come back to Australian waters because we will have an environment minister and a government in charge of policy who bought the super trawler here in the first place and are very happy to look after their mates, bringing new boats. New trawlers to Australian waters, boats which Australians don't Water, want. Senator.